Okay, I'm going to be using um, the quilter's groove ruler. Right here I'm going to put in kind of a floating quarter inch cross hatch. Um, and uh, so here I'm going to get started. So I'm going to put my needle up so I can get my ruler on. I'm going to slide it over the shaft um, of the needle and down. So now we're in and I can put my needle back down to where I need to be. Here. over to my starting spot. I'm going to use my guidelines here. So I've got a, a 45 degree line here and I kind of eyeball uh, that and then trying to keep the other 45 over here um, straight up. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it and I'm going to put my hopping foot on the one side of the ruler and I'm going to work my way down. Then I'm going to kind of wiggle because I'm going to do a stipple because it's going to be a floating uh, cross hatching. So I wiggle over until I hit the opposite side of the ruler. Once I hit that side, I stop, put my needle down, and I scooch my ruler over so that the hopping foot is then hitting the side that we started on. And then I'm going to go back up, wiggle over. just continue this. Now, the opening here is small enough that you can stitch right down it, just so you know. And all the while you try and keep your 45 degree angle aligned. I check it every couple of passes and readjust if I need to. my ruler because I'm going to go the opposite way with the cross hatch. So now we're going to go this way. Line up my 45 degrees and down we go. There's the end of my cross hatching. I'm going to take my ruler off now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of stipple all around it. And for stippling, the endocrine, I just set it to manual, not stitch regulated. our floating crosshatch.